to Taste of Asia at home. Uh, I'm finally back from my trip to the Philippines. I had a wonderful time over there. Uh, beautiful country and beautiful people, very friendly. And uh, as you can see, I'm wearing my uh, Super Bowl t-shirt, Baltimore Ravens. Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers fans, maybe next year. <laughs> so anyway, uh, the uh, video clip I'm going to do today is uh, going to be uh, Chinese Butchering 101. And it's something that we use in uh, the Chinese restaurants. So I've done a number of these. And it's a way to uh, save money on your grocery bills. Again, another tip um, by using a Boston butt. And I'll show you how to uh, cut it up into different pieces and how you can use these um, pieces of pork to make at least three or four meals for your family. And sometimes you can find these specials on sale. It's a Boston butt, pork butt, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this one we got for about six dollars. So if you figure if you can get four meals out of six dollars, you're doing really well. And uh, so I'll I'll show you. Um, this is what we're going to be working on. So I'll pause the camera and then refocus the camera, and we'll get started. Okay, now I have the uh, camera focused on the cutting board. Get out one of my knives. And we're going to touch up the blade a little bit. Then we'll cut open the package. I'll hold it over the sink to drain any juices that may come out. And if you've worked on enough of these, I've probably done more than a hundred or maybe even two hundred of these. This we, the top layer is fat. We're going to remove that first, and then there's a bone here. And once you get the handle of it, there's the top of that bone is right where my thumb is, and then there's a small part under here. So we're going to cut around here and over the top of that bone to get to remove this bone, and then we'll cut along this bottom edge here. So I'll show you. First, I'm going to I'm going to take this top layer of fat off. Now, the, keep in mind the pork butt is does have a, a good amount of fat on it, but you know when you roast it, when you make roast pork, that and you see how I'm cutting around here carefully with my knife, and always keep your left hand away from the blade. Uh, that's basic. But you come around this bone, and then you come down. Follow. You always I just follow the bone and make little cuts so you 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 get as much meat off as possible. And you can use this bone for stock. And there's your bone, you've taken out. So you have the bone, the layer of fat, which you can probably discard. Some restaurants, they cut that up and fry it and, and grind it up in, in, in for flavor in the spring rolls. Now this piece here, you can see, it's about four cuts. This is one piece for roast pork that you can use for roast pork, but it has these lines of a uh, little bit of gristle in there, but when you roast it, you know, that 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 will be won't be tough. Because you roast it for about an hour. And you can trim more fat if you like, but for sake of time. And then what you're left with, this is typical in all your Chinese restaurants, is this piece here, which is very lean. And you can save that for something else. But so I'm gonna what you do is you cut, make one cut. And there are almost lines that you can follow when you've done this enough times to separate. So you wind up with this lean chunk here, and then this piece here you use for roast pork. And I'm going to cut, butterfly it kind of lengthwise with my knife. Holding your hand on top and using a sawing motion with your knife, you don't want to cut all the way through. So you, you open it up, and this is what you see hanging in these uh uh, shops that sell barbecue, like bar roast ducks and, and roast pork in Chinatown, is long pieces like this. And what you do is you're going to cut it again, and there you have it. So these are your two, two nice pieces that you can put uh, for your roast pork, and then you have this uh, another piece for roast pork, and you can cut this in half too if you want. 
and make two out of this. And once you've, once you've made your roast pork, that roast pork can be used in so many things. You can use it in lo mein, you can use it in fried rice, you can slice it and cook it with string beans or broccoli, either way. And then this piece, the lean piece, you can trim it a little more. And any trimmings, keep in mind, you can always chop these, these trimmings uh, to make spring rolls or something else. Now the lean piece, watch, I'll cut it here. And then if you want to make this like sliced pork with vegetables, you just cut it like this. And you'll see, they call this pork the other white meat because this is very lean here. As you see, you can, you can use this and, and, uh, and marinate it according to my instructions on the other videos. And uh, make, use it for, for fresh pork with broccoli. And then, if you lay it all flat and cut it this way, you wind up with strips. And the strips, this cut here, is good for lo mein. Is also good for, to cook with uh, something that has the same, same shape, like string beans. Fresh, fresh pork with string beans. It's another thing you can do. So these, these are all the ways you, you can use this pork butt. And the, the, we got a lot of meat for six dollars and four meals. So that's one thing that I like to impart. And uh, I'd like to say thank you to all my subscribers because uh, we I just recently passed the 1,000 subscriber mark, and uh, that's you know I'm proud of that, and I appreciate all the great comments that I get from my viewers and my subscribers on you know how they appreciate the the videos. So I just want to say thank thanks to all of you for watching. Okay, as you can see, I've gotten a mixing bowl, and um, it looks like a bottle of Hunt's ketchup, but it's not ketchup. It's the barbecue sauce that's, um, if you go back to my Chinese roast pork recipe, you'll find the recipe for this barbecue sauce, but I'm going to show you what, what I do, how I'm going to do this. I'm going to take the, the parts that, that I want to roast today, these two long parts, Keep in mind, some of this fat is going to melt off, or, or when when you uh, barbecue it. And I and I and I have salt. First thing you do is you want to give it a general generous coating of salt. You rub the salt into it, and then you you're going to squeeze the barbecue sauce. The whole one, this. Uh, ketchup bottle is too small so I took it off. So you'll put a generous amount of your barbecue sauce and you'll mix it together with your hand and then you, you, this you can just put in your fridge and let it uh, marinate overnight or at least for four or five hours and then you can put it on a, um, I put it use a cookie sheet and I, I put foil on it and then I lay the pieces of pork on there and then I, I uh, Roasted at 350 degrees, but sometimes the, uh, it'll you'll get juice that'll come off of the pork. So every 15 or 20 minutes, you drain the juice, and then you get a little dish, and with a brush, you brush some barbecue sauce on it and turn it over. And you do that for maybe uh, three times, and you'll come out with some really nice roast pork. So that's that's what I do with that. Rinse my hands off. And then I always keep a supply of these um, gallon size um, freezer bags. So what I don't use for this meal, I'll freeze and use for other meals. Actually, I'm going to keep the lean part separate. So I'll wind up with uh, another bag that I can use for roast pork. And then I'll put that that in a quart bag. So you can see the economy of this because uh, each one of these bags will make a couple of meals for your family. And 
And there you have it. The rest is just scraps. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. And I hope it helps you in your meal planning and your meal preparations. Again, thanks for watching.